Hey y'all, Regiment here from IBM, and today I'm going to show you all how to plan an agile project using the Scrum process template for IBM Engineering Workflow Management. I just want to let you all know is that stuff will not match up word for word if you're not using the Scrum process template, but the plan will relatively be the same. I will have another video on this channel on using the safe template for relatively a similar process. To first get started, what we need to do is we need to establish the project's timeline. And to do that, you first must be logged into Workflow Management and you must be an administrator. If you're not an administrator, you will not be able to do this. Navigate up to the top right hand corner of the screen, mousing over the gear icon that says Administration. Clicking on this will reveal a drop down menu. And from this, select the first option that is Manage this project area. From this, go over to the left hand side of the screen and click on Timelines. Now, to see what timelines are, we can mouse over the question mark and if you click on it, it will give you a bunch of important information. But really what we can break it down to is that it is a block of, that, of time where a bunch of activity, a bunch of task, a bunch of work needs to be done to progress you further in the project. And if you want to read more into it, you can pause the screen right here. By default, with the Scrum template, there is two. There's a couple things to find here. Uh, we have the main project, we have a release, we have two sprints, and we have a backlog. Now, say we want to create one ourselves, and I'll just create it as an example. We can go over to click on Create Timeline, and I'm just going to put on Tutorial, Tutorial Timeline. And we can set the duration of weeks. And for this example, I'm just going to put on four. Then if we want to edit some properties associated with it, we can click on edit properties. And we can select that this is the project timeline. But since I don't want to make this be the project timeline, and I'm just showing you all an example of creating something, I'm going to leave that unchecked. Now if we want to add some stuff underneath it, we can click on the plus button there to add a child iteration. And I'll just put on sprint one. And we'll call this one week. And I'll add another iteration. I'm going to add this after sprint one, and I'll call this sprint two, and this will be two weeks. And wait a minute, what if I want something in between here that's uh, more so like sprint 1.5? Well, I'll just do that for one week. And then up top here, we can see all the scheduled days, the start time and end time, and I'm going to leave that everything uh, like it is because uh, I enjoy my weekends. I don't want to have to be working on the weekend. So now I'm just going to click on OK here, and we can see this other timeline available. Now this is not the project timeline because we did not set it as that. If we checked off that box on the past screen there, we could have done that. But say now we want to turn this into a project timeline, well, all you need to do is click on Edit Properties, and you can click this box right here it says use this timeline as the project timeline. I'm not going to do that because I am happy with the stuff by default. Finally, make sure you click on save. And if you want to change any of the other settings, you can navigate to them right over on the left side of the screen here. Now, I'm going to hop back into the project and to do that, all you need to do is go over to the right side of the screen and click on explore project. Now, after creating the timeline, we need to create a plan. To do that, navigate up to the Plans tab and click on Welcome to Plans. If we want to find out some more information, we can check out what Quick Planner is by clicking on that right here, Program Board by clicking on that right here, and we can browse current plans, or we can create a plan, and that's what we're going to do today. So click on Create a Plan. I'm going to name this plan Tutorial Plan. The owner of this plan is going to be the project itself and the project I named Scrum Agile. I'll click on OK, and for the iteration, I'm going to put this in the release 1.1, and I'm going to click on OK. If you click on the twisty, you can select a specific sprint that it is owned by, but I'm just going to leave this as release 1.1. We can change the plan type, so it could be sprint backlog, cross project plan, product backlog, release plan, or the sprint Kanban board. And for this example, I'm just going to change this to Product Backlog. I'm going to leave Fetch Children on Demand checked as default. If you want to find us more information, all you need to do is either click on it or mouse over it, and you'll get something that pops up. 
I'm going to leave include on items unchecked. And finally, I'm going to go up to the top here and click on save. One thing to note is that you can also import this from a Microsoft Project XML file, and you can also export the plan to an XML file as well. Now, if you get a weird error here that does not allow you to create the plan, let me show you what you all will need to do. Go up to the gear icon, click on manage this project area, then underneath the overview, scroll down a little bit and make sure that a member has been added. To add a member, all you need to do is click on add. Here I'm going to search for a member. We're just going to add Dave and click on next. And we need to select his roles. And I'm just going to select Scrum Master and click on finish. I want to hop right back in here and make sure you click on save over there. But for this example, I'm not going to save that. So now if we get back to our plan, all you need to do is click down on the plans tab and we can either go browse all plans, but this is my recent plan right here. So I'm going to click that. We're now back inside of the plan and now I'm going to add a work item. Clicking on this drop down menu, we can see a whole bunch of options here. And for this example, I'm going to create a story. So I'm going to click on story and I'm going to put it in as story one. Finally, click off it. And now I need to associate this story with some stuff. So to do that, I'm just going to click on it and I'll be taken right into the story itself. Here we can see where it's filed against, how many points we want to assign to it. For the example, I'll just assign five points. We can see the, the progress for work and we can assign some tags, add some other settings over here as well. We can put a description and we can put some comments. We can add some acceptance criteria, we can connect it up to some links. We can add people that need to prove it. And we can also see all the history. So I'm going to hop right back into overview. And since I set the points, I'm now going to click on save. Now let's go add some other stories. So I'm going to hop right back over here and we're going to go over to add work item. And I'm going to do another story. We're going to call this story two. Add another work item story three and now I'm going to add an epic and I'm just going to call this epic one now what we need to do is we need to assign the stories to have some points and we can do that by mousing over them over here so I'm just going to assign some random points and we also need to assign the priorities as well we'll do low and we'll do a medium and now we have a high priority we know that an epic is supposed to have stories underneath it so to add some, all you need to do is either click on the, the epic when you mouse over it, or if I go over to here and click on the drop down menu, click on add link, and we can add some children to it. I'm just gonna add story one, but if you wanna see everything that's available to you, a helpful hint is putting in an asterisk, will display everything possible. And I'm just gonna add story one to it. So now clicking on epic one, we can see, hey, there's zero of these zero stuff, and when I go over to links here, we can see the child associated with it. And I'm just going to click on save. We'll hop right back into the plan itself. And we'll make sure we save the plan too. Now I'm going to change the priority of this to medium. And now let's add the other stories to this epic. We can click back on here, add link, click on children. If I put in an asterisk again, we can see, hey, we have story two and story three that we need to add. And I'll just click on OK. Finally, make sure you save this. And now when we hop back into Epic, go over to Links, we can see we have all these stories right here affiliated with this. Which, if we want to add some stuff into the stories, all you need to do is head back into the plan. And we can add some work items and create them right here. Or if you mouse over this, you can click on Actions and go underneath Create Work Items and create some more stuff. If you want to view some other cool boards on this thing, you can click on this rank list and click on work breakdown. And this will show you what is affiliated with the epics that you have over here.